We're gonna see if this is even gonna fit. Smart Carb was so awesome. They sent us a, it's a little bigger. Okay, let's see here. So, wow, Alan's on the top. That's, that's fancy. We're gonna take a look at her inner workings here. I mean, everything just looks beautiful. So, very excited about this. Always wanted to do it. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. I guess let's start the choke on, see what happens. You gonna stay and party today? Work on bikes with us? Instructions. Well, we're gonna see if this is even gonna fit. So on the Aerox, we've got the 36 key in and uh, Smart Carb was so awesome. They sent us a, we're, we're working with them uh, on developing some uh, work to get the Shurkos to be street legal. And Smart Carb is a, is a big part of that. So they sent us a 36 to test. 26, I think. 26 we're gonna use on the Shurko. That's a 77. And this is gonna go on this guy. However, it's a little bigger. So let's see if it's gonna fit. I'm a little skeptical. However, I would like it to fit. Oh yeah. Wow, okay. It's gonna fit, barely. Wow, this thing is a beast. I'm gonna say that it's gonna fit. Really nice. Really nice. Okay, let's see here. Why does it seem so easy? It seems too easy. We shall see. So, wow, Alan's on the top. That's, that's fancy. You guys want to know an interesting story? Funny story? No, better not. I'm going to pull this cap off and we're going to take a look at her inner workings here. Hopefully the throttle cable will work. It's kind of a bummer. Um, I know at least with the electrons, you have to almost always change the um, cable. I've always kind of gone back and forth with electrons. Electron is smart carb. I have electrons. Um, I'm really happy with it, with them. I had a little bit of a bad experience, but it was not fault of the um, carburetor. It was the fuel that I was using was just uh, just a pain in the butt to deal with. So that is interesting. Really neat. I mean, that's a really nice piece. Looks like all stainless. Well, the insides are stainless. I don't know what this is. Is this some coating? Maybe aluminum coated or steel? Not sure, but it's definitely nice. Um, okay, so now I'm trying to see this wheel over here. So we're taking off the key in 36, I think, if I recall. Um, happy with it. This bike, um, for instance, has been sitting for about three weeks, two and a half weeks, first kick. Start right up, idle perfect, everything. So really happy with this carburetor. I don't, um, this is kind of like, this is like kind of comparing best, better with absolute, absolute bestest, bestest -er. I won't say that any of these are bad per se because they all are very, very good products, but this will be nice to see if the Smart Carb offers more performance, the ease of tuning because with the key in like this, or any jet style carburetor, you're you're gonna spend on something like this because of the, how critical it is to get the tune right. You're gonna spend at least, it, honestly, probably 15 to 20 hours to by start to finish. You know, getting your your idle set right, getting it to start right, getting it to start with a choke, um, adjusting your air idle, your main jet, your pilot, just your needle, everything. I would say it's honestly, it, it's a solid day and a half to two full days and that's like start to finish no breaks to get this right because remember this is a six thousand seven thousand whatever dollar motor so you're going to take your time you know, same with the twin so think about the twin you have two carbs twice as much work and you have to sink them so you always have to sink them make sure they're opening the same amount get the the carbs aligned so that is a whole nother ball game guys this is not a race bike it's a fast bike it's a lot of fun but people that have faster bikes than this or anybody that wants to talk this down 
go tune yourself a twin and then come back to me because it's it's not twice as much work it's like four times as much work it's exponentially harder um it's just it's a whole different animal aside from that yeah so this should be hoping this cable will work um again never dealt with one of these before we're lucky enough to be dealing with um smart carb they've been super super nice super friendly we sent them a bunch of parts for their sherco to test and so we kind of just did some trading back and forth worked out really good we really like working with other companies especially other companies in the united states because we're all really uh we're all really on the same team here so like working with other companies it's a lot of fun very fortunate and thankful uh to be able to be working with sherco and smart carb and and whatnot it looks like it goes on kind of similar to a regular slide carb as far as a cable goes this is definitely different because it's it's offset which is weird right because your cable goes in here and your needles here normally your cable is kind of on top of the the needle so let's get this puppy in here comes in the bottom and drops in that groove so that's what you get there so this actually worked out really good guys because this is this is a first time um experience for me but that that was easy. I have a feeling this is gonna be really easy. I'm gonna say, wow, that was it? Hoping so. This is a really nice product. I mean, everything just looks beautiful. So very excited about this. Always wanted to do it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Who goes there? It's the ghost. The ghost of Johnson Creek. Cool, perfect. Don't need a throttle cable. That's nice. We will put on this fuel filter. Normally I would just say, let's just send it. However, I think these carbs are 600 bucks, something like that. So uh, we are going to do it right. We're gonna follow the instructions this time, boys. Ooh, it's not hitting the tire, but man, it is close. Really close. Boy, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Mm, it is really close. I'm probably gonna have to rotate it a little bit like that, which I don't think is gonna be a problem. I'm gonna change the plans here. We're gonna do this, do this right. Cat back off and see about doing a, do you see about doing a 90? Cause I do have a good amount of slack. I don't know if I can clear a 90. So what I'm gonna do here real quick is I'm gonna pull this slide back out because I need to put this little rubber boot on here because it needs to be on there. I've had this happen before. If you don't have your um, throttle cable installed, the best way, nice and snug there at the cap. I've had them, I'll show you actually. I've had. Oh, oh, that was close. See those reflexes? Whew, don't do that. I actually did that on purpose to show you guys what not to do. Wow, that was, that was terrifying and invigorating. So what happens sometimes if you guys are hanging out, you're riding wheelies, right? This is going in and out, in and out, in and out, just like this. And what happens is you drop the slide. This comes up and it catches just like that. Now your slide is, is pulled up. So it is important, I say that and I think about I think about how many of my bikes do or do not have this piece, but actually that's not even gonna be, let's see if that one's gonna be tight enough. I may have to get a different one. Yeah, that's too loose. So we're gonna find another boot to adhere this to, to this piece. And also you wanna make sure that you move this up to kind of absorb that slack. Because if you think about it, if that comes up and catches on here, your bike's gonna be stuck. It, it may be, 10 miles an hour, if it was on the runner, which I've had happen before, you're doing 60 miles an hour and you can't slow down unless you hit the, hit the kill switch and hope that it stops. So let me, uh, let me try to find a rubber fitting for this guy and uh, see if we can make this a little, oh, a little more legitimate. I found a good cap. It's all very basic stuff, guys, but I figure if I'm doing it, uh, I may as well explain to you guys the reasoning behind it. So what you're gonna do is slide this puppy up here like so slide that thing down there i should give myself a little more slack here this can is a little weird actually because you have to th spin the top cap on which makes it definitely more difficult because you have to since it has a 90 on it tighten the 90 up or loosen it up and then spin the cap on so you end up there's no way to have that tight with that it's always going to have some uh some slack in it if you have the 90 on top of a cap that threads on, there's just, there's no way to to be able to take that cap off without spinning. So kind of one downside, I would say, of that carburetor with the round cap on the top, but very um, small downside. It's a great card. So now I've got this guy here. I'm gonna route this puppy through here. Don't 
drop anything down the dyno hole. I think there's actually like three CDIs down there and probably a bunch of CVT bolts down there too. Now what you wanna do is put this little thing in here. Don't force it, that guy drops down there. That piece right there reminds me a lot of the piece that's in the Electron, so. These Allens are really nice. It's nice that you can put these in with your fingers for the most part and snug them up. It's gonna be really tight, so I will say, um, if you guys are tight for room, on the PWK carbs, you're gonna be extra tight for room on this because I had to go to a smaller carb in the back or a smaller tire to clear that carburetor. This one, I may have to make a strap of some sort to clear. Um, now that being said, I could get a, I could get a adapter that kind of has a little bit um, of a steeper angle to it. Cause this one's pretty flat. So kind of one of those things where every application can be a little bit different. Most of you guys, aren't gonna have an issue like this because 8.1 is just a completely different animal in general. But uh, anyways, what you wanna do is that slack there. You wanna get rid of that slack, so we're just gonna snug this puppy up. I'd always like to have a little bit of slack there because you want to adjust your um, idle speed with the screw on the side. You don't ever wanna adjust it with this slack here. So I see that really calm. I'm gonna bring this back down. Still have too much slack there. So we're gonna come up here and take some slack off up here. Start closing that up. Oh, watch out. And that could do it. So you got a little bit here, probably a little more than I want. So a little bit more. Okay, let's call that. Now we're gonna slide this boot all the way down, like so, over the top. So at least that's not gonna come up and cause the bike to go wide open throttle when you least want it to. I mean, I'm, I probably have between the tire and the carb, probably about two millimeters. So gonna have to probably rev it up and keep an eye on it because this carb is gonna bounce around too. Right there, I can't even fit the screwdriver between. So again, this isn't, this isn't a, um, you know, it's not a problem per se with the carburetor. It's just the dimension, the size difference. I think I'm gonna have the same issue with Electron. If not, I may not even be able to fit Electron actually because Electron bowl is the whole shape of the bottom. So um, Electron probably won't even fit on this bike. Find a home for this puppy for the time being. The air filter on here. Not sure, that mouth looks really big. Don't know if that's gonna fit. Ooh, happy day? Happy day? No, let's see here. This is the only air filter that will work on the uh, on this bike and on most of the RC1 Piaggios and whatnot. The Melosi, it's a nice filter too, so hopefully I don't rip it in the time being while I'm saying this. There we go. Money. Maybe? Really interested in seeing how this thing works. I think I'm gonna be pleased with it and then all my builds are gonna get much more expensive because I'm gonna be running them. No, that ain't working. It's really short, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna need, I may need a different, I may need a different filter. This filter has a lip right at the end. To see that the, the clamp wants to go, come in a little bit, which is too far away from the carburetor. I may just run it and test it and just see how it runs and then deal with this situation later. So oftentimes you hold it and what happens is they just slide, you clamp it down and the, and the clamp just slides away from the carburetor, which I think it's doing right now. Oop, yep, pop right off there, okay. So yeah, probably gonna have to get a little, little creative with this filter. Get the old zip tie off, out maybe, let's give that a shot. Okay, well, it stays on for my testing, I'm good with it. This hose for the time being, we're gonna just, uh, man. That is really tight, you guys can see there. Um, okay, now what? Start by using the clicker just atop the smart carb to adjust fuel flow with the engine off. Hold the wide, hold wide open throttle and depress the clicker adjuster. Clicker adjuster to engage the clicker mechanism in the throttle slide. Turn in, turn it right or clockwise to go richer, left or counterclockwise to go leaner. Then adjust idle set screw on side of carb. That just seems Seems way too easy. I'm gonna cut this puppy here. So filter has a direction to it, so it's gonna go like so. 
perfect size. Happy with that. And this sticker here, leave choke up or in the open position during initial fueling. After successful initial fueling, push the choke plunger down to the closed position. Okay. The puppy will go on like so. That this this thing is gonna this thing's gonna be bye bye. It's not gonna it's not gonna make it. It's not gonna make it today. Okay, I'm just gonna tie it back like that. Okay. All right, so now we've got the fuel line on. We have the throttle cable on. Ooh, I don't like that. It's sticky. Uh, let's see here again. Choke and slowly open the fuel cup when filling. Turn the fuel off. So choke's on. So we're gonna slowly fuel it here. Okay, so that guy's open. Start by using the clicker just to top of the carb to adjust fuel flow. With the engine off, hold the throttle wide open and depress the clicker adjuster to engage the clicker mechanism in the throttle slide. So we're gonna go wide open. We're gonna click the top here. Clicked, okay. Now I think we can put the choke on and start this thing, see what happens. Clear some room here. What's nice is I can just put this right back on and know it's gonna run perfect. So, <clears throat> there we go. There's a key in. Like I said, I don't think I can fit Electron on this this bike. So, maybe totally out of the question. It'd be nice to kind of have run them all, um, which I can do maybe on the Sherco. Not super sure, but we will see. It's nice, I'll say that's the only carburetor that came with paper instructions out of all the carburetors I've purchased. And what's really neat when you guys buy the high-end carbs, it comes with a serial number <clears throat> and everywhere, kind of your, your, your settings, I guess you call them your factory settings, which is really nice. So that should be it. Turn her on here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I guess I'll start at the choke on, see what happens. Try it with it off. Like perfect out of the box, actually. No. Okay, doesn't need any adjustment. <laughs> that throttle feels way more responsive right off the bat. That throttle just, it's instant. It, it, it feels like it comes on harder. Just, it's not like a, giving a little bit of throttle isn't like a slow, like a slow rev. It's like on, on. Feel the like, the instant, like just don't give it that much gas. Just like flip it. It's like, it's, it's not like a, it doesn't come on slow. It's like it just turns, ow. Oh. Bang. I got you, I got this. Woo. The zip tie that. Weird, I had it all the way on and just, you know, start that thing, Pat. Yeah, it's like. What? They tune themselves, right? It's like auto tune. Sounds like it. Just for fun, I want to show you guys something. There's a Delordo, the 19. Show you the size difference between the Delordo and the Smart Carb. Just for fun. So you kind of get a comparison of the size difference. This is just tiny. The Smart gives you an idea of how big the Smart Carb is. Uh, I will show you the how close the tire is on this. I'm not sure how much you guys got in the other video. Uh, they apparently have special bowls that allow more clearance on the back side or on the bottom, I should say. A little room we have there. I would say in that area, there's a couple millimeters. So we picked up about a, I think it landed 29 point something on the first pull, no adjustments. Um, again, remember pump fuel, the spike is still breaking in, uh, not running aggressive timing, just running basically the base map, I would call it, um, base timing on the system because we're not really trying to get, this is not a bike for max horsepower because I want to ride it and be able to ride it for like 200 miles. Same with this, somebody commented, oh, you guys' bikes are slow. Well, guess what? These wheels weighs 25 pounds a piece. This whole bike probably weighs close to 300 pounds. It is very fast and it is rideable. And that's what this bike is built to be, is comfortable, rideable. One thing to build a fast bike, okay? It's another thing to build a 
very quick bike that is extremely rare as far as the motor goes and works and is 100% rideable on the street. I've taken this thing on like 80 mile rides, almost completed one that was like 150 uh, and then my stator plates kind of backed out. So I have ridden this down at, at California, Seattle, whatever. So show me another 35 horsepower bike that you can ride a two stroke, that's a twin, that you can ride 100 miles in a day and I'll buy your lunch. Show me one, show me the one that you have, I guess I should say. Anyways, where was I? Smart car, fires right up, really cool. Apparently they break in, I went on my little tangent there. Apparently they break in, so they say don't make any adjustments for the first, it was like one to two hours of ride time. So I'll show you guys kind of how they start, how easy it starts. Um, with it they're gonna send a different bowl so uh, we get some more clearance so it's not really rideable quite yet because I'm afraid the tire will expand right it gets taller and it's gonna grab the bottom of that bowl and flip it off so that's pretty much gonna stay the way it is until they send us a bowl um, so that's where that's gonna lie next project for today kind of nice that uh, service is super slow right now um, which I'm very happy about because now I can get to some of this stuff hello there Come on in. You gonna stay and party today? Work on bikes with us? Uh, Come on, you wanna work on some motorcycles? I have to deliver both. You, you have to deliver, you got more? Is that it? That, that's it, yeah. Hey, you, you have a great weekend. Bye. Thank your local USPS man. Gas there with the 
Ronald. Rotate it to richen it up, so I have to keep track. Okay, I've turned it five or turned it six. Mm. 